hi everyone very good afternoon my, my name is dilip uh, i will be taking a session on uh, the latest features in budgetary control today so which are part of 22 year release okay so as part of that uh, we will be covering some of the topics uh, you know which were not there in the previous releases uh, and we can discuss on them so to start with the first topic would be like uh, ability to create a private budget account group this is one of the topic which we will be discussing today uh, the second topic would be uh, budget balance synchronization from budget transfer in both budgetary control and general ledger so this will be the second topic which is a very important topic which we are going to discuss it uh, today's session and the third topic would be uh, it is not a major enhancement it is a very small update from oracle so where they were capturing uh, the details of the accounts uh, which are having uh, zero balances or no budget balances so this is one of the enhancements so i will be discussing about this one also in today's session and the last topic would be the customization in the budgetary control page okay so these are the four topics which we will be discussing in today's session so let's start with the first topic the first topic would be uh, private budget account groups right so uh, i guess most of you might be familiar with the account groups in gl right so the account group will be used to track the critical accounts right let's say some revenue account or some expense account if they want to capture it they can uh, create an account group and they can capture the account groups in uh, general ledger uh, dashboard okay similar to that in this 22a release uh, oracle has came up with this private budget account groups where a user can create his own account group and he can track the budgets uh, in that account so what was the enhance enhancement in this feature was like before uh, prior to 22a release uh, the budget account groups were public like when the moment when you create an account group it will be accessed by all the users who has access to the control budget but in the latest release they came up with a mode called private mode if you see here this is very important like where a individual user has specific or a user specific budget accounts can be tracked and where they can see the uh, how much budget has been consumed and how much funds are available for that account you know all these details they can track it okay so let's go to the system and see how we can create an a private budget account group and uh, how the data will be visible in budget monitor and also in the budget info let so to start with this activity there are like some of the steps okay we need to define like some of the steps before going there so these are the steps so uh, the first activity will be private budget account group right so as part of that what we are going to do is we will be loading the balances budget balances for october 22 using various account combinations and uh, we will be verifying the balances in the ui the budget balances in the ui then we are going to create a public access account group and we are going to create a private access account group then we are going to verify how it is responding i mean how uh, users can have a view this uh, balances in this uh, private and public okay so we can see that access related details uh, using two different users in this case i will be using uh, kc brown as one of the user and uh, john dunbar as one of the user uh, to demonstrate this example okay so with that let's go to the instance and uh, do this first activity where we are going to load the budget balances for october 22 okay so before that i would like to show you like which control budget i am going to use and the segments in that control budget okay so currently i am in budgetary control dashboard okay in the task panel we need to go to manage control budgets so to save time i already defined a budget kk budget 1 this is my bud control budget which i will be using for this demonstration okay 
If you notice, uh, the control level is advisory, where it will give just the warning while creating. If there is no funds available, right, then it will just give a warning and it will allow you to create the journal entries. Okay. There are other types of controls also: absolute, track only, and none and absolute. Right? Advisory, sorry. Okay. So if you have a absolute control, then it will stop you from creating the actual balances or the actual journals if there is no funds available in the specific budget account. Okay. And these are the segments which I will be using for my control budget. Basically, I'm using all the segments which ever is available okay, for the chart of accounts. And this is my ledger which I will be using uh, to post the budget uh, uh, actuals, okay. So Australia primary ledger is the ledger which I will be using for my demonstration. Okay. So this budget is already in use, okay. We don't have to do anything, any other additional configurations. I will be directly going and loading the budget balances now for October uh, 22. So before that, right, we need to make sure our budget periods are open. So uh, we need to come to budget period status here. Okay, we need to select the control budget. Okay, it is, uh, so I already opened uh, period for October 22. I'm just showing you that. So if you notice, uh, the status of the period is open here, so we can load the balances. Okay, so once you define your control budget and when the periods are open, you can create the budgets uh, using a spreadsheet. There is no manual way you can create the budget, okay, there is, we cannot do that, the only way is using a spreadsheet. So if you click on enter budgets and spreadsheet task, it will give you this pop-up where we need to uh, provide this following details, okay, budget usage. So basically this will tell like, uh, where are you going to load the budgets into? Okay, if you see budgetary control validation, this means like we are going to load the budget balances only to the budgetary control module. Okay, there is one more option budgetary control validation and general ledger reporting. If you select this option, you can load the budget balances in both the budget control, budgetary control, and also in the GL balances queue, where we supposed to give a scenario budget scenario, in which scenario are you going to load the budget balances. But for now, I will be selecting only budgetary control validation where we will be loading the budget balances to the budgetary control module. Okay. So here, uh, budget entry classification. Okay. Uh, if you notice here, is it, is it a initial budget or a budget revision? So I am going to load, a, load as an initial budget. This is like when you are loading it for the first time, right? Then we can select this option initial budget and the control budget to which control budget are we going to load the balances to okay in this case I will be selecting my control budget KK budget one and the period so if you guys notice here the periods which are open only they are available for you to load the balances okay so in this case I will be selecting October 22 as a starting period and October 22 as my end period so budget entry name this is system default, you can override it, but I am not overriding anything over here. So if you notice here the budget scenario, right, if you select the general ledger reporting also, then it will uh, show you the budget scenarios, but in this case it is showing not applicable for budgetary control validation usage, right. So there is a control over from here, okay, it is a dependent field on the selection, the budget user selection, so that is why it is not it is not, you know, providing any budget scenarios uh, details here. Now, uh, if you see, enter budget amount as, okay. How are we going to enter the budget? Is it a new budget amount or a replacement of the current budget? Or is it an addition or subtraction from current budget amount, okay. If you want to add an additional amount, right, you can do that as well. But in this case, I will be loading a complete new budget amounts, okay. So I am selecting that option. Now you can click on create spreadsheet. So once you click on create spreadsheet, it will download the 
ADFTA template.